In the course of your treatment, it may be recommended to you to have an electromyogram or a nerve conduction study done on your nerves in your arm. The reason why that's being ordered is your physician isn't sure where the problem lies. The problem might be in your wrist, in, the, in that nerve, or it could be coming out of a nerve root in your neck. And if the doctor, for example, myself, not sure where the problem is, we want to make sure that we're treating the right thing and these studies help. An electromyogram actually assesses the reactivity of a muscle and to see whether or not it is affected by nerve entrapment. And the nerve conduction velocities really look at the sensory component and to determine whether or not there's any slowing of the electrical impulse as it goes across the nerve. Uh, if the slowing, for example, shows that it's right here, then we know that the problem is right here. If there is no slowing there, then it diminishes the possibility that the problem is actually right there. However, an EMG and nerve conduction study really doesn't make the diagnosis. The diagnosis is made by a careful history and physical, and that contributes to that information. But all by itself, if it is negative, meaning if it says that it's normal, that doesn't rule out that you actually might have that problem because it's not a perfectly accurate test. If it is obvious to me that your problem is in the median nerve at the wrist, frequently I won't order those. But when I'm confused and I need more information, I will order those to help me with the determination and the differential diagnosis.